This isn't just about some impact at the corporate level. This is really about having an impact at a personal level. For myself, I identify as an engineer. I really want to be able to come into my company, Spotify, and figure out how to have an impact beyond recycling, biking to work, all those sorts of things. They're great, but when you can have an impact that goes global, the path to impact is as important as the destination. Okay, guys, may I just ask, could everyone please have their phones in silent and airplane mode? You may not know that uh, Spotify is in fact a Swedish-based company, and in Sweden, sustainability is really part of the cultural consciousness. For Spotify, we have decided that we want to contribute positively to climate change. We started with the Exponential Roadmaps goal, which is to get to zero carbon emissions by 2050. Our goal is actually to get to zero emissions by 2030. In 2021, we released our Global Equity and Impact Report, and in that, we outline our path towards net zero for greenhouse gas emissions. One of the things that is part of that playbook that I love the best is our annual Hack Week. So Hack Week is when the entire company comes together to figure out how to innovate across the company. So this year, we set the theme of Hack Week to making the planet cooler. One of the first and most basic things is, of course, we have moved everything to the cloud. With Google, we have the opportunity to leverage uh, a number of products that help us in our technology approach to climate change. And we do uh, auto scaling with uh, products like Bigtable, like GKE. There's a few things that are really at the core of our strategy. One, we want to have a direct reduction of our own greenhouse gas emissions. The cloud part of the emissions was only a small part of the equation. It starts not just from the the cloud, but it goes all the way out to our end user devices. The second part is to take a look at the emissions caused by all the things that are upstream from us that we use. Not only will we reduce our own emissions, but we'll have a side effect to all the other companies who are using these same providers. And then the third part is really to leverage our unique position to be able to influence people's behaviors outside of Spotify. In particular, uh, not surprisingly, since I lead a group of developers and engineers, to really be able to impact the environment as well. Hi, Tyson. Hi, Max. Uh, Max, before we get started, maybe you could just tell us a little bit about how you got into engineering. I think it's a very fascinating way of trying to understand and structure the world. How did you get started with engineering? <laughs> I got started with engineering as a, a young man. Uh, my dad was actually a software engineer. My dad was also, or is, a, is an engineer uh, as well. So maybe that's a common pattern that you choose from your parents. I'd love to hear what sustainability means to you personally. Yeah, I am personally worried about where we are. I just felt my anxiety increase with regards to climate change. And um, I realized that by taking small personal steps, that that kind of milders my anxiety. So we recently had our Hack Week, and the theme was making the planet cooler. Uh, you participated in that, but this was actually the genesis of the Climate Engineering Handbook. Just in a nutshell, can you define what the Climate Engineering Handbook really is? Today it has two parts. So it starts with a theoretical part that discusses where our emissions primarily stem from, device, CDN, networking, and cloud. So we discuss these chapters and, and from a theoretical perspective try to show where the emissions come from in each of these separate steps. And then um, there is a second part of the handbook, which is a much more hands-on guide uh, discussing what tangible steps you can take um, in each of these disciplines. In this overall process, really a sort of a bottoms-up process to democratize access and then action, tell us a little bit about how you think this will evolve over time. Amazing to see how many people at Spotify actually care deeply about this topic. I think the only thing that's limiting us right now is just people hearing about it. Well, thanks, Max, for being a climate champion uh, for Spotify and hopefully for the world. Thank you. How are you doing? Great. 
First, can you tell us a little bit about what you do here at Spotify? So here at Spotify, I lead business development for Backstage, focusing on driving strategic partnerships and other opportunities that improve the adopter experience. So what is Backstage? Yeah, Backstage is an open platform for building developer portals. It was built internally at Spotify, open sourced in 2020, and we donated it to the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. And what's a developer portal? A developer portal is a single plane of glass for your entire infrastructure. So it unifies your tooling, your services, docs, and apps under a unified, consistent UI. So we have these different plugins that they work with Backstage. There was a plugin that came out. Can you tell us a little bit more about what it does? So Cloud Carbon Footprint is actually an open source tool developed by ThoughtWorks. It leverages cloud APIs to provide visualizations of estimated carbon emissions on usage across Google Cloud, AWS, and Azure. We want to empower not just Spotify internally, but the broader developer community to be able to immediately measure, understand, and reduce their carbon footprint. Do you think that this has opened the floodgate for more possibilities? There's so much more to come. We believe that climate change isn't going to come from a single silver bullet to solve the problem. Instead, it's going to come from people who are united to make a lot of changes. Engineers, at quite a personal level, they want to have a big impact. It's not just about what we can do to reduce our company's global greenhouse emissions, but what we can do to help everybody else have that same impact.